and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Today on The Edgy Veg, I'm going to show you how to make super simple spaghetti and meatballs using just a few ingredients that most likely you have laying around your house, so stay tuned. The first part of our spaghetti and meatballs that we have to make are, of course, the meatballs. Now, this is more of the like time-consuming part, but it's totally worth it. And if you have any leftovers, you can freeze them and then use them at a later date. But these meatballs are made out of potato, brown rice, oats, and then some mushrooms as well with a bunch of spices. And we're going to make everything in the food processor so it's super, super easy. The first thing we're going to do is cook up some onions and some mushrooms. This helps give it that like nice, meaty, kind of like texture and consistency. So we're just going to add the oil to our pan and we are going to fry up our onions and mushrooms. So we're just going to cook these for about 10 minutes. So when we fry those up, we're going to add those along with all of our ingredients into the food processor. The first ingredient we are going to use is tofu, and that's going to give it some great protein, but also a really nice texture, and we're just going to mix that up. Next ingredient is oats. This is an oat and flaxseed mixture. We have some ground almonds, some seasoning. This is like a bouillon seasoning. Wheat germ to help keep it all together. Mashed potatoes, because starches also help keep everything together. Really thought of everything this time around. Some nutritional yeast, because you can't have a vegan recipe without nutritional yeast. It's like our god. Garlic powder. Instead of salt, we're going to use some tamari. I just prefer the flavor of tamari over salt. Brown rice, and if you want, you can just throw it all over the counter like I just did. And then we have some egg replacer. Again, just a little bit of starch to help it all bind. Some almond milk to help it blend, and some lemon for flavor. Then we have our cooked mushrooms and onions. So you have a good like variety of textures, and we're just gonna mix that all together. You wanna go in there halfway through and just scrape it from the sides and continue mixing. If you can figure out how to use your food processor. So when you've mixed together your ingredients in the food processor, we're going to roll these guys into little balls. I wouldn't go larger than like this though because then you have to cook them for longer. But if you like really big balls, who am I to judge you? Go ahead and make really big balls. So I like to cover my hands in olive oil when I do this because it helps to make sure that the, uh, the dough doesn't stick to my hands. Put these into the oven at 350 for about 20 minutes, flip them, and then cook them for another 10 to 20. Goodbye, meatball friends. And while we're waiting for that, we can cook up our sauce and make our spaghetti. You can't have meatballs without pasta. I mean, you can, but you can't have spaghetti and meatballs without spaghetti, so. And then with our spaghetti and meatballs, I made this homemade marinara sauce. You can get the recipe for this on my blog. I'll leave a link below in the description. It's so easy to make at home. I don't know why anyone would ever buy it. There's no comparison. Sauce. So after about like 35 to 40 minutes, we have these beautiful meatballs. Ooh, they're hot. Vegan Italian food is a very rare, rare thing. It's like a, it's like a unicorn. Now to plate our spaghetti. Ooh, saucy, so pretty. And then the bells of the ball, meatballs. I like about three. Just a kiss, just a kiss of sauce. This is just the food photographer in me, but I like to garnish it with a little bit of basil. Delicious and very simple spaghetti and meatballs. Mm. Usually I would do this with a spoon, the ladylike way, but who cares? Mm. Those meatballs are so good. So there you have it, easy spaghetti and meatballs. You can make these meatballs not just with spaghetti, you can cover them in like barbecue sauce or sweet and sour sauce and serve them on like a toothpick, like at those like fancy hors d'oeuvre parties that I can never eat the food at. If you like this video, give it a big huge thumbs up. If you wanna see more Italian inspired recipes, also give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure that you subscribe because we're trying to hit 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So we'll talk to you next time. Bye. Bon appetito. Today on the Edgy Veg, we're going Italian. We're making Italian veal sandwiches, but vegan, of course, because we don't eat babies here. 
So get yourself a drink. I'm drinking some bourbon today and let's